Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, you know, I'm basically, it's kind of an opinion piece. You know, my, my issue in this video is normalization of PCR testing for travel. And I'll, I'll go ahead and read an article, read an excerpt that got me thinking about this. The article is titled, Unpopular Thailand Pass Entry Rules May End. And I certainly hope that this article's title comes to pass. I would love to think it'd be a good thing for Thailand, especially the tourism sector, if Thailand Pass was scrapped entirely. But quoting directly, the Thai tourism ministry has indicated that Thailand may simplify the rules of entry as early as July 1. This is the provisional date when Bangkok authorities may reclassify the coronavirus pandemic as an epidemic. I think, I think they meant endemic, but I'll leave that there. Quoting further, the principal advantage would be to end pre-authorization for va vacationers and enable them to fly to Thailand armed with only their documents, passport, air ticket, and a negative pre-flight RT-PCR test result. Well, I thought your travel documents, if things are going back to normal, are just your passport and your air ticket. You know, I just got to say, I'm finding a little, and I've seen this in other articles. I saw this I sort of mentioned just nonchalantly in the Bangkok Post. I saw it mentioned nonchalantly in an in international uh, publication I was reading a couple of weeks ago. And I, off the top of my head, I have, to, I have to admit, I can't remember which one exactly. I, I read a lot. But there just seems to be this kind of, cap, oh, yeah, yeah, we're normalizing. So all you need is your PCR test, your passport, and your air ticket. Well, why? You know, if this thing's endemic, if it's no longer the major issue we thought it was, why do we need that? Moreover, and let's not forget this, I'm, I've really found this concerning. People have absolutely just overlooked the fact that medical privacy is a thing. You know, documentation pertaining to one's medical status is generally private. It's protected by doctor-patient confidentiality. And in some cases, in a legal sense, doctor-patient privilege. You know, why? You know, I, and I... Before I, end, before I ask this question, or I should say, my question is, why are we just willy-nilly going around re requiring people's personal medical data in order to just live their lives? Well, the answer is because this whole thing started and we were upset about it, we didn't know what was going on, and the, these rules were implemented. But if the quote-unquote threat is gone, isn't it time to roll back all of this and say, okay, we're not going to do that anymore? I don't understand why this overall PCR testing is being, you know, and, and really, these are not an uninvasive test. You know, PCR testing, I've often euphemistically described as being stabbed in the head, you know, but I mean, you, you're poking and prodding around up there. You know, it's not, it's not anything particularly simple. And moreover, you know, we, it, w there's other publications out there that talk about, yes, there's DNA on these tests. I mean... There is a lot of information, personal medical information that's being transmitted during these tests. And okay, I'm not gonna say I agreed with doing it in the first place, but I understood the argument. I can no longer understand the argument if it's now being stated that, okay, this is no longer the threat. So therefore we, you know, presumably therefore then we don't need to do this anymore. So I'm really hoping cooler heads prevail and we're not going to be dealing with this ad infinitum in the future.